Let's look at another one. Here we have x equal to sine t, and then we have y equals to cosecant t. We want to change this into Cartesian equation. So at the end, we want to have an equation with just x and y only. If you take a look of sine t and cosecant t, what is the connection? We know that cosecant t is just 1 over sine t. So let me just look at the y equation here, y, which is we know, cosecant t, and we also know this is equal to 1 over sine t. And then what's sine t? Sine t is exactly what x is. So in another word, this is equal to 1 over x. So all in all, we have y is equal to 1 over x. And this right here is it. You don't need to isolate the t from the x equation all the time and plug into the y equation. Sometimes, if you can see the connection between the x and y equation, these are the things that we can possibly do. This is the Cartesian equation for that. That's it.